Hi, I'm Susan Isaacs, Department of Art and Design, Art History, Art Education, and I'm also the curator for the galleries at Towson University, and I curate um, for other spaces as well, uh, curate exhibitions of modern and contemporary art. So I wanted to talk to you today about um, the process and how hopefully you've visited the galleries, but if not, hopefully you'll come by. It's free, open to the public. And just giving you, this is the current student exhibition. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about how we choose exhibitions and why we choose them and how that connects to the educational priorities of the department, which is that um, every time that we uh, organize an exhibition, we are really looking for uh, shows where we can, um, where faculty can bring their students in for writing papers, for learning new ways of thinking about art, learning new ways of thinking about the community. Uh, we just finished up a show on encountering nature that dealt with environmental issues and so forth. And um, I thought this was wonderful because this is the summer show. So, um, and. Uh, so we try to develop programming from symposia to lectures by the artists involved, by curators, um, and uh, hopefully in the future, family workshops. Uh, we've had some uh, continue to have that. So um, in this case, this exhibition, um, we hired the curator, um, uh, Daniel Velasco, who is the curator at the, at the New Paul's uh, Museums. Uh, and he's doing the summer show for Artscape, and we're a featured gallery on Artscape. We bring in um, artists. This is Alexis Granwell, who's from Philadelphia. We bring in artists to give, um, to show their work, and to give a talk, and do um, critiques with our MFA students. This is our, M uh, she'll be showing in our MFA gallery. And she's a printmaker and a sculptor. And, uh, and you could see the previous image was the plate that she was creating for this image, for an image like this. Um, very um, ethereal kind of uh, work, and these are very large uh, images. And so she'll be working um, with the students in the sense of working with the grad students, and this is more of her sculpture um, here. So um, I try to bring in for that, because um, we don't have a lot of funding, we bring in um, regional artists as much as possible to be the artist residents. They stay overnight and they um, install. Um, this is a show that we're doing in the fall, which is, and the word is, um, this is actually the space where it was before. And this is about a show that's text in religion. So um, the images on the right uh, is by a photographer who photographs all that wonderful signage outside of um, churches. Um, this is uh, Sam Bell Burke, and he's a California artist, and he'll be coming to give a lecture. And what he does is he's, um, he's traveled all over the world. He's not Muslim, but he works with translations of the Quran into English, and then he creates American um, English uh, translations with um, illustrations that um, are American Western oriented to try to help explain some of the ideas in the Quran. Um, this is a piece called From Mouth to Mouth. It's taken from the um, book of Leviticus and they've actually put the words from the Torah, that's Hebrew, in um, dissolvable gel capsules that go into a piece. Um, this is Martin Brief and um, this is called Amazon God. And he actually went on the Amazon website and looked up every title, uh, the titles of every book um, with the word God in the title um, and created those written by hand um, pieces. This is uh, Nick, Nicholas Cripple. Um, he actually teaches at Tyler and he's a ceramic artist, but I, I, he wanted to work with um, this form tin and so he creates these big word sculptures. And um, David Stevens is a blind artist. He does have an MFA degree. He was a printmaker and he lost his sight later in life. And he creates these braille, uh, beautiful sculptural tablets. This is some of the um, ph ph photography your Heavenly Father is loaded and you are in his will. Um, people spend hours reading these signs. Um, so this is gonna be a really, a really great exhibition. In the spring, um, we're borrowing us work very famous photographs from the um, Reading Public Museum. And so that's half the show. And I'm just showing you some of those, um, some of the most famous photographers in, in American uh, photography. Ansel Adams, of course, you've all 
um, heard of him. And then I'm working with one of my grad students. We're curating a companion exhibition, because this is only 24 works, of contemporary American photography. Um, thank you very much, and hope to see you at the galleries.